Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please feel free to subscribe down below. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. Everybody ding the bell so that you never miss a notification when I post. So I uploaded a video a couple of weeks ago about my Nexplanon experience, getting the implant in my arm, the birth control implant. Um, this is just kind of a follow-up to that. Normally I don't post when I'm this close to the camera or when I'm filming on my webcam, but every once in a while I do if I just kind of want to talk one-on-one -on -one and don't really want to edit things together and make it all fancy when I just kind of want to talk to you guys. So without further ado, let's get into it. I still have a mark on my arm. Um, I don't think I can show you without exposing myself, but there's still a mark on my arm from where it was inserted. I got it inserted on the 29th of December, and it is now the 11th of February, and I still have a mark, so it might scar, I don't know, but you can feel it, you can see it, it is there, and I've had significant problems with it <clears throat> that have been very difficult to deal with. So here are the problems that I've had. First of all, I've had very bad headaches and migraines that have been debilitating. Um, I pretty much have headaches all the time, at least once a day, but sometimes they get really, really bad to the point where I can't work, I can't hang out with friends, I can't function, and that has been crappy, but not the worst by any means. I have also been um, bleeding constantly. Um, they said I would spot. Sometimes women get this and spot most of the month. And that's what they told me. They warned me that that could happen. But I have, I have been bleeding constantly. Like having a period constantly since I got it. I got a three day period off. <laughs> In January and then a seven day one in the beginning of February but other than those 10 days I have been bleeding since I got it inserted fabulous again though like something I can deal with it's inconvenient but I can deal with it I have also experienced very bad mood swings and depressive episodes the other week we were playing a board game at my house, me and a bunch of friends, and I just had to straight up tell them, like, hey, you guys, I'm really, really down, and I can't get up again, so sorry, but I'm just going to be really grumpy. And it wasn't just a typical girl, like, oh, I'm just going to be grumpy. <laughs> like, it was, I was, I just couldn't get up. And it was frustrating because there were so many, like, there were friends there, friends that I don't see all the time, and we were just playing a board game, but I just couldn't be happy. And, yeah, it, the first month especially, it was just irritability constantly, um, just being angry all the time about everything, no matter what. But the worst... The very worst part have been the horrible panic attacks. And they, I am 11 days panic attack free as of today. But before that, it was every other day or every day or every three days, depending on the week, of terrible panic attacks. And... They've been at night, mostly. Now, I think every time it's been at night. And it has been loud and scary and wet because of the crying. <laughs> it's been terrible. I live in a townhome, so my neighbor's literally right there. Like, I hear her snoring at night. And it's been me at 2 in the morning screaming at the top of my lungs. I'm shocked nobody has called the police on me yet. And, yeah, and, like, it's it's been really bad, you guys. To the point where, at one point, CJ had to dump, like, cold water on my head. It still didn't help. 
And another thing he did, he picked me up and I was screaming and kicking him and like, not kicking him, but like kicking to try to get out of it. And he was like, I'm taking you to the hospital. It's been really, really bad. And some days I'm fine. Like I said, in 11 days that hasn't happened. So that's been great. But otherwise in the month of January, it was at least a dozen times. And that's so mentally exhausting, physically exhausting, just terrible. But it hasn't happened in a while. And my mood swings haven't been that bad either. So maybe my body's kind of getting used to it. I don't know. But the bleeding is still unfortunate. I also have an ovarian cyst that the ER doctor said was not related to the Nexplanon, although I've never gotten an ovarian cyst before. I'm seeing my OBGYN on Monday, and maybe they will shed some different light. I don't know if ovarian cysts have been linked to the implant in the past, but I have one. I've never had one before, so there's that. And yeah, so that's pretty much what I have been dealing with for the past uh, month and a half. Just headaches, migraines, irritability, mood swings, anger for unexplained reasons, panic attacks, and just literally feeling like I was going to die and wanting to die. Um, but it hasn't been to the point where it's affected, well, I mean, I don't know. Like, one of the people I know, I went to school with her, and she was saying how she had the next one on, and her first six months were awful, but once you get through those, you're fine. And me and CJ talked about it, and we were like, I don't think we could make it six months with this, because it was bad, you guys. Like, even though we're really happy together, and we're, like, we're really happy together, but there, it got to a point where it was just like, we can't go on like this. It was too stressful for me. It was too stressful for him. But thankfully, it's gotten a lot better. So hopefully, it continues to get better because this is pretty much my last option. The only other option that I'm allowing myself is nuvering. And um, I really don't want to do that. So this is my last, my last option. But I just kind of wanted to update you guys on that and let you know that it has not been something I would recommend. <laughs> Let's just say that. But who knows, maybe it'll get better. It's only been a month and a half, but it's been a hard, like the first month was hard. It was very, very tough. I would like to not bleed anymore. That would be nice. I would like to not have headaches every morning when I wake up and every night when I go to sleep, but, you know, it's just as effective as if I had gotten my tubes tied, so it's like the, tra it, the trade-offs are really difficult, but that is it. Um, I don't think I have much more to say. If you have had the Nuva Ring please comment down below and let me know what you thought of it. I've heard good things. I've heard bad things. I would like to know because if I do end up having to take this out, that's my next option. So please let me know. And that is all I really have to say right now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this quick little chit chat video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you want to see next. Check out all my other videos. They're a lot different than this. Some are just like this if you like this, but most of them are different. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for being my friend on the internet today. I'll see you next time. Bye. Ah, oh no. Oh no, now it's gone. Ah, story of my life. Okay, bye for real.